I suggest to do some experiments. So I've once again prepared uh, in a cloud document some table uh, with voltage and current that we can measure. And from voltage and current, we can calculate resistance. And then we can try to plot resistance as a function of the voltage. And so now, uh, once again, I need to um, I need to have some someone that supports me, and uh, as last time fills in the the values inside this table. Um, and there's someone with a laptop, and you are already copying the link, right? Okay, excellent. So then I will I will show the link uh, for more time. And try to enlarge my camera window here a little bit. So. What I have is once again my nice lab power supply from last time and I've brought a small light bulb uh, from some electronic uh, construction kit for kids. And this light bulb, as you can see, has a rated voltage of 2.5 volts and it says that the lamp has a maximum power, difficult to see, there you can see it, a maximum power of 0 0.75 watt. So now first question is, um, how could we calculate the resistance of this light bulb? Any ideas? So I will use my uh, drawing program here. So th there's an idea. So power is voltage times current. Exactly. So the current is the power divided by the voltage. And so we have the power uh, 0 0.75 watts and the voltage as we have read is 2.5 volts and watt can be also written as volt times ampere uh, which perfectly makes sense because at the end the volt should cancel we should get ampere and 0 0.75 divided by 2.5 0 0.3 something like this um, ampere and then Resistance is voltage divided by current. So if we take the 2.5 volt, divide them by the 0 0.3 uh, ampere, we should get yeah some 8.6. You say okay. Um, has anyone exactly calculated this using a calculator? Should be okay. Um, 7.5, I'm, I'm sure. Other 8.3, 8.3, but is this here already correct? It's correct. Yeah, I mean, we, uh, at the end, we, so we could also say if we um, take this and insert this into no, insert not not this, but um, rearrange this equation into the direction of current. So current is voltage divided by resistance. And now use this equation and insert uh, this equation over there. So then we could also say that the power is voltage squared divided by resistance. And if we want to have the resistance, then <laughs> resistance should be um, voltage squared divided by power. So if we have 2.5 volt each squared and divide by 0 0.75 watt and I need a longer fraction bar. So volt, uh, watt is volt times ampere, volt squared and volt will cancel. Uh, yeah, and 2.5 squared is, you will get the same result, right? Which, and we should get. So we get 8.3 something 
äh, oh, okay. So, Franka has opened the table. Excellent. So, uh, let's go back to this. And what I can also show, let me make more space and remove my cables here for a second. Um, so, what I also have is a very small multimeter. Um, it's called pocket meter. So it's it's about the size of this. You can um, you can put it into this nice box. You also get some some measurement adapters here. Uh, so it, it it fits in there. It's uh, you can. I'm an electric engineer. I always have an, a multimeter with me. It also works as a scope, and so you can connect this to your cell phone. So um, I need to change to this app. And maybe have something that holds my phone here a little bit. Okay, so I go to measure and I say multimeter. And now I'm already in the mode. You can see the different modes here. Um, so I'm, I'm in the mode that measures resistance already. And have the cables and now of course it's measuring open circuit um, and if I connect these wires to each other uh, then it should why does it not work voltage DC let's switch to resistance mode once again okay now it's measuring resistance now you can see okay I measure something like zero ohm and so now if I measure here at the pins of this and it's it's they are they are too round uh, okay I get I get not a constant value and I get much less as you can see I get something like less than less than two ohms if it's connected 1.5, uh, 1.56 ohms. So much less. Why do I get much less? Because it's not hot. Because it's not hot. Because it's it's still in a cold state, um, and we we would need to heat this up to uh, to get a proper reading. Okay, so let's remove this. Let's have the. Um, let's have the power supply and now I will um, click on this table and it should hopefully open up in my browser and while it's loading I show the camera once again and move the camera window to the other side here maybe somewhere here okay and uh, you are prepared for entering values exactly and so uh, I've checked that's why I've already written the first voltage we need to use a comma so last time it was total confusion because in one table you need to use a comma and the other table you need to use a dot and vice versa so uh, I'm not sure why this was the case so but now I can connect the light bulb here and switch on switch on the lab power supply and then we have 0 0.5 volts and 76 milliamperes uh, there's one zero missing I think uh, 0 0.076 okay so I will go up in steps of 20 millivolt and the, the, the resistance value should automatically update. And then, okay, we have 6.5 ohm already um, and the, the, the ampere, no, this does not make sense. Now it's not, let me see if I can 
correct this 0 0.076 I don't get it. Um, I think everything I told was wrong when I tried. It's, it's a comma. Now I think we need to use a dot. No one knows why. It's the cloud. But this, this way it works. So let's use a dot. And then we get, OK, we get 6.5 ohm. Um, but we already have some current in there and you can you could see if I dim the light for a second that this light bul bulb now already there's already a small glow there okay so you have noted down the values this is excellent so I will continue to 0 0.9 yeah and we can see it's it's glowing even more So we will continue with 1.1. 1 .1. And I'm not sure if this is the original light bulb that was in there. So 1.3. Um, and of course, the more voltage we apply, the more current we will get. So let's increase to 1.5 volts. And now we already have a nice light there. Uh, I will continue to 1.7 and maybe turn off, turn on the light here once again a little bit because then I think the camera has it easier to get a clear picture. So 1.9. We get uh, 123 milliamperes for 2.1 volt. We get 127 or 28 or 29, something like this. And then let's go to 2.3. Uh, we have 134. And then the last value, now we can see that we already get a quite bright light from this small light bulb, uh, we get 140 milliampere. So we increase the voltage, the current increases, but the current does not increase proportionally because the resistance goes up. And if we calculate the resistance out of this curve, this is what is shown here in this, uh, in this document and in this table. Yeah, so we have now measured uh, a couple of voltages in this range, the corresponding currents, and uh, the, the table, as I've prepared it, automatically calculates the resistance. The resistance is a bit larger as what we calculated before. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I've changed this light bulb. Maybe it's not the original one. Maybe some kid burned it uh, in between. But... The effect that I would like to show is that the resistance increases with voltage, increases with temperature. Um, yeah, so for, for a light bulb like this, you cannot assume that the resistance stays constant, at least not between the cold state and the hot state. And if we would, um, yeah, if you, you can see if we would go down here, it really goes drastically down there. Um, unfortunately, my, my lab power supply cannot do voltages below 0 0.5 volts, but if you would extrapolate the curve here, then we would really probably get to the resistance value that we measured with the, with the multimeter of 1.52 ohm, something like this. So this perfectly makes sense. Uh, thanks for, for noting down all the values here. 